Hi everyone. Today we are going to start a new chapter. Unit 15, Polymers. This chapter is of three marks in CVSC exam. It is very simple and you can do it in just one sitting. Okay? Now let us discuss polymers. Why do we study about polymers in chemistry? Well, we must know that our modern life would not have been easier and colorful without polymers. Do you know that our food, our food contains carbohydrates and proteins which are nothing but the polymers of glucose and alpha amino acids. All our clothes, whether it is a cotton or polyester or terylene or terricotton, are basically all polymeric material. All our furnitures, whether wooden or plastic, are basically polymers. Similarly, packaging bags, automobile tires, gears and seals, electrical insulating materials, buckets, cups, toys, machine parts, etc. are made up of polymers only. These are just few examples. Basically, in every aspect of life, polymers play a very, very important role. Now, we are going to discuss the definition. Basically, this word polymers are derived from the Greek word. In Greek, poly means many and meros, M-E-R-O-S, meros means units or parts. So, a polymer, a polymer is a compound of high molecular mass formed by the combination of large number of small molecules. Okay, this is the definition. So, what is polymer? A polymer is a compound of high molecular mass formed by the combination of large number of smaller molecules. The simple molecules which combine to give polymers are called monomers. And the process by which the simple molecules or the monomers are converted into polymers is called polymerization. Okay, so here we have to understand the meaning of three terms, polymers, monomers and polymerization. I hope you have understood. Let us take example. When n number of ethene, CH2, double bond CH2, when n number of ethene combine together, they undergo polymerization. So, n number of ethene polymerize to give this CH2, CH2 dash N. So, this is uh, ethene and here the, the compound which we get is polythene. Well, in this case, the ethene is a simpler mo molecule. N number of ethene, N is a poly. So, large number of this ethene combine together to give polythene. So, this ethene is a monomer. This is a monomer. The large molecular mass compound which is obtained as a result of this is called this is polymer. The polythene is a polymer. And the process by which ethene is converted to poly polythene is called polymerization. Okay, so these three terms are important. Now, let us discuss another topic. This is uh, homopolymer.
होमोपोलिमर एंड कोपोलिमर वट डू यू मीन बाय होमोपोलिमर वेल अ पॉलीमर फॉर्म अ पॉलीमर फॉर्म फ्रॉम ओनली वन टाइप ऑफ मोनोमर इज कॉल्ड होमोपोलिमर आई यू गेटिंग दिस पॉइंट अ पॉलीमर फॉर्म फ्रॉम ओनली वन टाइप ऑफ मोनोमर इज कॉल्ड होमोपोलिमर फॉर एग्जाम्पल पॉलिथीन इज ए पॉलीमर ऑफ only one uh, type of monomer ethene so this is a homopolymer so as i told you n number of ethene on polymerization gives polythene this polythene is a homopolymer homo polymer how do you know that it is a homo polymer because it is made up of only one type of monomer unit that is ethene similarly there are another examples there are large number of examples like uh, uh, polystyrene polystyrene when you take n number of styrene then on polymerization it will give polystyrene so styrene n number of styrene on polymerization gives polystyrene now polystyrene is made up of only one type of monomer styrene therefore it is homopolymer similarly we can have n number of uh, vinyl chloride vinyl chloride is ch2 double bond ch cl so n number of vinyl chloride on polymerization gives the ch2 ch cl n this is uh, uh, pvc polyvinyl chloride so polyvinyl chloride is again a uh, homopolymer because it is made up of only one type of material only one type of monomer vinyl chloride what about copolymer copolymer a polymer formed from two or more different monomers is called copolymer or mixed polymer is it clear a polymer formed from two or more different monomers is called copolymer or mixed polymer for example nylon 66 nylon 66 is a polymer of two types of monomers hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid you have already done this in earlier classes so n number of h2 n ch2 bol 6 nh2 this is hexamethylene diamine this combines with n number of h o o c c h 2 4 c o o h this is adipic acid so this is adipic acid and here we have uh, hexamethylene diamine now these combine together these undergo condensation reaction where h of nh2 and oh of cooh will be removed and then we have this polymer nh ch2 6 nh co ch2 hol pol co n plus nh2 so this is nylon 66 nylon 66 now nylon 66 is 